First at noon, attorneys for the family of Patrick Leoya have released the findings from an independent autopsy in his death. A news conference in Detroit wrapped up just moments ago. News 8's Luke Lasser is at the live desk with new details from the news conference. Luke? The legal team wanted to make one thing clear. Patrick Leoya was shot in the back of the head, according to their independent autopsy report. Leoya's family did not attend the news conference, where their attorneys Ben Crump and Ben Johnson went into graphic detail about the trajectory of the bullet. Forensic pathologist Dr. Werner Spitz, who performed the private autopsy, also spoke, saying Leoya died in a matter of seconds, but was fully conscious when the shot was fired. He said there were no other injuries or signs of struggle on Leoya's body. While they did not test for toxicology, they're confident the investigation by state police will include those results. In order to, uh, to, um, and to visualize this, uh, I uh, made a hole in the back of, uh, with a drill. I made a hole in the back of the head and showed showed the, uh, put a probe into the hole and g guided the probe from the back here where you can see the probe going into the back of the head and out in the right side up a, a little higher than the entrance wound. Well, I call it a deadly execution because I believe that it was so unnecessary. I continue to say that this was an unnecessary killing of an unarmed black man who was shot in the back of the head. Ben Crump also told reporters the Department of Justice is investigating this police shooting. We will have much more from this news conference and reaction tonight at 5 and 6. We will continue to bring you any new developments with this case. Stay with our continuing coverage on air and online at woodtv.com.